UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres pleaded with the member states to be determined to tackle the most immediate threat to human and planet's future. The UN chief observed that the world seems incapable of coming together and agree on mutual solutions despite the move towards a multipolar world. However, Guterres says this is not enough as a multipolar world needs strong and inclusive institutions and democratic processes. He cautioned that problems cannot be effectively addressed when global institutions do not reflect the world as it is, further warning that the alternative to reform is further fragmentation. Yet, global governance is stuck in time. Look no further than the United Nations Security Council and the Bretton Woods system. They reflect the political and economic realities of 1945 when many countries in this assembly hall were still under colonial domination. The world has changed. Our institutions have not. We cannot effectively address problems as they are if institutions do not reflect the world as it is. Instead of solving problems, they risk becoming part of the problem. And indeed, divides are deepening. The situation in Libya and Palestine continue to threaten world peace, which the UN chief terms as unilateral actions to divide countries into blocks fighting for influence. He stressed that peace is inextricably linked to the Sustainable Development Goals and their attainment, and it is time for a global compromise. We see a familiar pattern around the world. The closer a country is to conflict, the further is far from the Sustainable Development Goals. The Charter calls on us to be determined in promoting social progress. In 21st century terms, that means achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. Yet inequality defines our time. From cities where skyscrapers tower over slums, to countries that are forced to choose between serving their people or serving their debts. Today, Africa spends more on debt interest than on health care. 